Sergeant Troy. I'm Lieutenant Winters. You're an hour late, Lieutenant. You had me worried. You know our mission's running on a time schedule. I have no control over the heat or the terrain, Sergeant. And if I blew up on the way here, it would do your mission no good. No good at all. Will you gentlemen unload these explosives, please? Huh? Very gently. No unnecessary jarring move. <laughs> to this, nitroglycerin is as tame as a firecracker. You can call me old-fashioned, Lieutenant, but I prefer dynamite. For steel and concrete? To blow up this radar station? To combine demolition and incendiary and still be of a reasonable size? <laughs> uh, just pretend you're walking on eggs and it'll be no problem. Oh. Uh, careful not to trip. <laughs> Thanks for the advice, Lieutenant. You're welcome. I worked 36 hours to create this bomb. Blend of plastic, thermite, touch of oil for lubrication. Light as a feather, and as you see, the size of a tennis ball. But I must confess, it's highly volatile. Quite unpredictable. Lieutenant, you know we have to move fast. I admire dedication, Sergeant, but let me give you a brief look at reality. Will you gentlemen move your jeeps behind that hill, please? Very gently, though, slowly. So you want to move fast, do you? insurance risk, I'd say. So how do we control this stuff? Stay alive. It's a secret the lieutenant took with him, isn't it? Looks like part of the detect unit. Sounds like his buddy's on his way home. Where do you think you're going? I can catch him, Sarge. And one bump and you join winners. When Dietrich gets word of this, he'll know there's only one route we can take through these mountains. He'll be right on us. Then we must move quickly. We have to destroy that radar station before our bombers take off the target. Let it get chopped down. Then we'll have to chance it. Maybe not. I once went on a fossil hunt in these mountains. And I remember being told a story of a race of people destroyed by a flood. There might still exist a dry riverbed that cuts through the mountains. Dietrich certainly wouldn't know that route. What are the odds in us finding that riverbed? What are the odds if we don't find it? Loaded with these and Dietrich coming at us like a skyrocket. You better be right. Let's check it. But very, very gently.
Sarge, I hate to mess up a storm, but when we get to where we're going, how are we going to set this stuff off? Like the man said, all you have to do is trip and fall. While the Rat Patrol was forced to move slowly, the clock was running fast. Allied bombers were readying for a mission that wouldn't wait. At stake, either a full division of Rommel's armor that lay exposed on the Bizerti docks, or the Allied bombers themselves, whose course past the key radar complex meant their own destruction if the radar station was left standing. Advised by his motorcycle scout that the Rat Patrol was in the area and had received a shipment of high explosives, Dietrich made the assumption that they were headed for the German radar station at Fai, the sole German installation within 200 miles. But Dietrich's own scouting made it clear that the Rat Patrol had not taken the only route through the mountains that led to the radar complex. They have gone with the wind, my friend. No, no, Afendi. You must understand. My country is a hiding place for countless secrets. Speak plainly. There are tales of an ancient road through the mountains. My people have reported no signs of any such mountain trails. There was an old story there in the village of Almirar Zafir. As a child, I listened to him spin many songs of the people of those ancient times. I have not been there since, but he should remember. Bring him here. And if this is true and we find the Rat Patrol, you shall be very well rewarded. You understand? Now you may leave. You enjoying the drive, Tully? What gets into a guy's mind to make him dream up explosives his whole life, Sarge? Imagine making him look like tennis balls. I guess tennis isn't your game, Sarge. one is dead. This is Selim, his great-granddaughter. He passed every word down to her. Selim, this is Hauptmann Dietrich. Hauptmann Dietrich? Selim.
one time, here were my people. And here are the mountains. And here, one time, was a river. I'm lost. In two hours, the Allied bombers would be clearly visible on the scope of the German radar complex that would take pleasure in arranging for the bombers' destruction. I'm lost. You're lost? What do you mean you're lost? Exactly that. The riverbed should be here, but it isn't. This isn't a fossil hunt, Moffat. Don't you think I know that? I'm also involved in this. Oh, I'm not thinking about you. Or me. Or them. I'm thinking of those bombers getting through undetected. I'm thinking of them smashing Rommel's new division before they get off the docks. They must have done wrong somewhere. I could probably find out where if we had more time. All right. We made a mistake. You unload your jeep. You travel light and you travel fast. And you find that riverbed, Moffat. I'll be driving right behind you. Hitch. this time. Cuts right through the mountains, just like the story said. And here, I brought you something. A few thousand years old, give or take a day or two. Looks like Dietrich's also been on fossil hunts. Will you wipe that look off your face? This place has been around for a few thousand years. Give or take a day or two. I expect Dietrich's already at that radar station. Sitting very pretty.
sure is sitting pretty. That is pretty neat, if I must say so myself. Got the radar control center underground. The Allied bombers' high altitude makes their detection from the ground impossible with the naked eye, but easy for the sweeping eyes of the German radar station, which will pick them up in 15 minutes. like a Greek bearing gift, Sergeant. You can call it that. Did you come to destroy the radar station? Hmm? You're a brave but foolish man, Sergeant. I wouldn't play with that. You're my insurance policy for staying alive. Your men won't risk on shooting you when we walk out of here. Sergeant, all I have to do is give my men a signal. I'll pull this trigger here. Either way. Now, you want to pull that trigger? You pull it. You have 18 seconds. <laughs> Dietrich. You have 12 seconds. sofort abmarschieren. We'll see you, Sergeant.
Too bad Winters couldn't have seen the fireworks. Should have been the 4th of July. I don't think I'll need this anymore, Professor. Sarge? Why'd you let Dietrich go? 